What's going on, fellas? I'm going to teach you guys the most effective way to get a woman to chase you and pursue after you. This method sticks. It sticks like glue. And this is, like I say, the most effective way throughout the dating coach community. And um, the manosphere, what they call this manosphere, guys have taught you how to ch get women to chase you, myself included. The thing is that the way that, you know, most people teach you, most of these guys teach you is a quick band-aid solution. And it's, it's, a, it's effective, but it doesn't last. And you have to keep playing games or, or borderline. I'm not going to call it manipulation because it's not really manipulation, but you have to keep borderline playing games with a woman to get her to come after you and run after you. Like pulling back, not responding right away and little shit like that. Um, push and pull techniques and shit like that so the woman can run after you. The problem with this this way of doing thing, the problem with this method, although it's effective, is that you have a woman chasing her ego and not chasing after you. You get what I'm saying? She's chasing her ego. So when you when when, when you put her ego when you put her ego uh you know when you crucify her ego, she comes to chase chase her ego to get her confidence and her self esteem back. And that's what she's chasing. She's not really chasing you. You understand? Um She's chasing the validation and not really you. Yeah, you provide the validation, but you want women to chase after the man you are. Your energy, your presence, and not necessarily your her uh her ego or for her to get a self-esteem boost because you 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 know you made her feel a certain type of way because you're not responding or you're pulling back and shit like that. Like I say, that way is very effective. But you have a woman who's chasing her ego. And once you have a woman who's chasing her ego, once she catches it, she stops. Once she catches her ego, once she once she catches up to her ego and gets what she wants, once you stop and she once you stop and then she she catches you, she catches her ego, and now she goes the other way again because she got what she wanted, right? Which is her ego to be satisfied because of whatever games you was playing. And so now you got to do the shit all over again. You got to keep playing. You got to keep pulling and, and pulling teeth and pulling back and forth. You don't want to be doing that. Like I say, it's a quick band-aid solution to get, um, you know, to get a woman to chase after you if she acting funny and shit. But like I said, I'm going to teach you guys the most effective way, right? The most effective way to get a woman to chase after you is to keep moving. You don't move away from her, right? You don't, you don't run from her. Like I said, when you run from a woman, when you're running from a woman, she's going to chase her ego. The thing is, is to keep it moving. And that means your life. Keep progressing in your life. Keep striving for something, right? And I'm going to give you guys a, a, an analogy so, you know, I, it, I can make it make sense in a second. But you guys have to keep it moving. Keep your life progressing. You pursue, you know, greatness. You pursue your passions and your purpose and you go after that. You, when you're doing that, you're not running from the woman, right? You're not running from the woman. And women understand that when you're chasing greatness, they'll compete with that happily. Right. Versus her, you know, wondering why you ain't picking up the phone or she feel like you got other chicks or you just being a certain type of way to her. That's this causes. Uh, of course, although it does stir up emotional turmoil, like I say, you have a person that's chasing their ego. But when you are running after success and it's, it's nothing personal to her, she understands that, OK, this man is on the move. This man is headed somewhere. So I need to keep up with him. You get what I'm saying? I have to keep up with him. Look at it this way. Let's say in your community, whatever neighborhood you live in, there was a bowl, right? In the center of the community, there was a bowl that had value, right? You're the value. But this bowl has value in it, which is money, right? And every day you can come to this, to, to you, every day you can come extract money. You can go to this bowl and take money out, right? You can go to the bowl whenever you want, every single day at the same time, and take money out of this bowl. And everybody in, this, in the neighborhood can come take money out of this bowl, right? What starts to happen is people take the bowl for granted, right? You know it's going to be there. You don't, you know that, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. You can go smoke all day. You can go chill. You can go bullshit around. You know that bowl is going to be there. 
So you take it for granted. You know, you don't make it a pro. After a while, you stop making it a priority because you know the bowl is right there. Right. Uh, you know, and you just extract, you go and you extract, extract, extract. You don't have to put nothing back into the bowl because you know that the bowl is going to be there and the bowl is going to have money in it. Right. So you disregard it. You don't appreciate it after a while. You take it for granted after a while. You understand? You guys get where I'm going? Now, say this same bowl was on a tram trolley track and it moved throughout your city or it moved throughout your neighborhood. And you can still get money from this bowl, right? You can still get your money and you can still get your value from this bowl, but you had to keep up with it. You understand? You have to run, you have to pursue this bowl to get your money. You don't have to work too hard. You know, you don't have to get on a motorcycle or run or, or be um, Usain Bolt or whatever his name is to get this bowl. But you know, you have to, excuse me, you know, in order to, to get the value from this bowl, to get the money from this bowl, that you have to keep up. And it's not like the bowl is running from you. It's just on a tram trolley track and it has a destination. This bowl is going somewhere. Right. And in order for you to get your value, you have to keep up with the bowl. Now, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Do you guys get where the, the analogy that I'm making? You have to be the bowl that's moving. The bowl isn't running from anybody in the neighborhood. The bowl just has a, a destination to get to. Right. And in order for you to get the, the, the value from the bowl, you just have to keep up. You have to be this bowl and continue to move, continue to progress. Stop going to work and coming home and sitting home all day and doing nothing. Progress in your life. Be moving. Your purpose, your passions, you know, whatever. Just keep moving and keep your life progressing. Strive for something and keep it moving. This is, this is the most effective way to get women to pursue after you. And they'll happily pursue after you, right? When they finally catch up to you, just like the moving bowl. You don't take the bowl for granted because it's always moving. It's not going to always be in that spot. You have to keep up with it. It makes you, you have to work to get your dollar. When you get your old, get your money or your value from this bowl, so you appreciate it because you're putting in effort to get your shit. It's the same thing with the woman. When you constantly moving and she has to pursue you, she has to chase you. Like I said, you're not running from her. So she's chasing her ego. You have a destination that you're trying to get to in your life. This is the most effective way to get women to. This is how you get a woman's soul for real and you keep her soul. So long as you, when you stop, you don't stay complacent. Because the longer you stay complacent, the, just like the bowl that's in the center of the neighborhood, the longer you stay, the more people take you for granted. The more people don't appreciate you, right? And the less gratitude people have for the bowl. So you be the moving bowl. Keep it moving. When you stop, if you stop, you stop to take a rest. If you have to stop, and then you keep it moving. You don't run from the woman. You run towards your, your dreams. You run towards success, right? And if she want to fuck with you, she want to get on your train, or if she want to get on your boat, then she have to keep up. She got to put gas in her car to keep up. She got to be healthy to keep up with you. She got to make sure she's exercising so she has the stamina to keep up with you. This is how they appreciate you. They'll appreciate you a lot more than, you know, you waiting just five hours to respond back. But she know that you don't do shit, but go to work and come home and play the fucking video game. Or, and she know that you ain't got nothing going on in, in your life. But then you pull in some hot and cold technique. Now, when she catch up to you, she call her ego and she going to play you. Trust me, I've been here when I was younger. I know that. I know how this goes. You understand? You get a woman that chase her ego because you playing you doing little band-aid solutions. You get a woman that chase her ego. And now when she finally catch you, she resents you. So she's going to play you back. And now you just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You understand what I'm saying? Don't do it like that. Chase after your shit. Have something going on in your life. When you meet women, position yourself so that they understand and that they know that you have a, you're a man that has something going on. Never let a, a chick know that you ain't got nothing going on and that you just go to work, come home and sit on the game and smoke or watch TV and shit. They don't supposed to know that because when you try to pull back and do all that shit, they know you just, you fucking with them, right? So now they're going to chase you. They in their feelings, they in their ego and they just chasing that. And when, once they get it, it's, you're going to be on a hamster wheel. So continue to strive, chase excellence, chase success, and they'll chase you. You understand? 
back in my hustling days, right? Back in my hustling days, guys who guys who are hustlers, and I'm not just talking about regular guys from the hood, dusty guys, but I'm talking about guys who are truly hustlers, street hustlers. Back in my street hustling days, we did this the best. And not that we were trying to do it to impress women, but we couldn't spend all day with a woman. I couldn't spend sometimes a whole night with a woman, right? I have to be, you get a 30 minutes to an hour from me, if that, right? I, I come kick it with you. You know, we smash and we kicking it. And a dude called me and he want to spend 2500 He want to spend three Gs, five Gs. I got to get up out of here. I ain't got time to be sitting up with you, right? So the woman knows that I'm chasing. I'm trying to get rich. I'm trying to make my life better and shit. She knows that I'm not just sitting home ignoring her or out with another chick ignoring her and put her on the back burner. So she knows. She knows and she understands that I'm chasing greatness, right? She'll happily chase. She'll happily chase after me. You know, she'll happily, she'll gladly do it. She'll gladly get on my, do what she need to do to keep up with me and get on my level because she know I'm chasing something. Hustlers have this, hustlers have this way with women. And this is one of the keys to why women like guys that hustle like this, right? Because they don't have access and they actually have to appreciate and work to keep you. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't have the time to be sitting up laying up with them kicking the bobo and, and just bullshit you got paper to get you know you got plugs to pay back you got people that need to to eat and shit like this so you on the move you understand you are the bowl we was the bowl that was on the tram trolley track you know that had a fucking destination have a destination for your life and you set on uh set out to 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 uh get to your destination every single day don't stay stagnant you understand that's how you get a woman to chase you and how you get a woman to chase you effectively and it sticks and they'll happily do it right this is how you get their soul you understand hey i appreciate you guys for tuning in if you don't know my name is king dre i'm your gracious game advisor king dre right um if you found value in the content if you like the video i'm gonna ask you to like the video subscribe hit the notification bell that way you can get this good player shit fresh off the press you know my slogan we got to spread the word playerism is the antidote to feminism playerism is you know what i'm saying and also drop me a comment but also guys go get both of my courses attraction 101 and how to make a woman fall in love with you Ooh, excuse me excuse me attraction 101 and how to make a woman fall in love with you um, my Attraction 101 course, I'm revamping that, putting a whole lot more into it. So if you already have access, you'll get, you know, you'll get access to the new version as well. But if you don't have it, get it right now while the price is $150. Go get that right now because the price is going to go up significantly when I'm done revamping it. And it should be, it should be coming within a couple weeks. But this is Attraction 101. Go get that right now. Uh, you know, and go get the other course, how to make a woman fall in love and obsess over you. Also, guys, join my private Discord community. I'm going to leave the link in the description for that. I had a Facebook. I still have the Facebook community, but Facebook is on some bullshit flagging down posts. I'm damn near about to get be in Facebook jail and get my account suspended for bullshit. So, you know, Discord, you can speak a lot more free. You know, it's a lot more going on on Discord. So click the link below to, um, to join the, the discord community also if you guys need coaching hit me up i do this this is what i do i've been dealing with women all my life consist consistently and successfully you understand I, of course i had my hiccups but you know this is what i do and if i, I can get your life together I, I can promise you that so if you need coaching whatever you need they have to do with women you got trying to get your ex back you're trying to you know uh you know bag a chick any scenario you got i can fix it book me send me a dm or an email and i'm gonna leave both of those uh dm on instagram or send me an email and i'm gonna leave both of those uh links in my description but anyway guys i appreciate you guys for tuning in it's your boy your gracious game advisor king dre and i'm gone